It's that time of year. The Muscular Dystrophy Association has teamed up with the International Association of Firefighters to raise money for those affected by muscular dystrophy, ALS, and other life-threatening diseases. With us today to talk about the event and what to expect is Brett Petzinger and Addie Fell. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. So let's just start with what Fill the Boot is. Um, well, Fill the Boot is our annual fundraiser. It is actually the IAFF's uh, national fundraiser for firefighters. We've been doing it for 65 years, um, raising money to help children with, mu with muscular dystrophy. Um, so in Hornbacher's locations today in Fargo, um, that actually the next three days we'll, be, we'll have a firefighter there with a boot and people just put their donations in. And last year we raised over twenty-four thousand dollars, and the money help go. The money helps um, send these kids to mm -hmm. uh, camp, along with it goes to uh, research and development to help with different medications that are coming out that are helping to slow down the disease, or even in some cases reverse for some some of the children. And Addie, thank you for coming in today too. Can you kind of tell us your story? Uh, yeah, I, I was diagnosed when I was three, and uh, it's been. It's been difficult to live with it, but um, you know you can't really you can't really uh, control what life has to offer. So um, I see it as more of a blessing than a curse. Yeah, yeah. that's incredible. So tell us a little bit about how you feel about fill the boot and people supporting this cause. Oh, it's a great way to raise money for kids. You know, I see it was my last year at MDA camp this year, and uh, to see all the kids they're smiling having so much fun that is um, different than having fun with other kids who are able to do what they aren't um, it's a great bonding experience and it's just a great place to be so what are those some of those things that you do at camp can you take us through what it's like to be at camp yeah yeah it's kind of like any other camp however it's just a little more updated i guess you can say um, we have a zip lining course a lot of kids love to go on the zip line there's a nice pool and a lake you can go fishing uh, we there's always a hockey tournament during the week and the last day there's always a uh, like uh, stand can is we what we call it and uh, my brother was actually a part of it and he won the stand can this year so it's incredible yeah. you're a great spokesperson so oh, is that you. you know something that you know you're taking on and, and would like to share your story and, yes. and just remind people yeah yeah I love to speak about um, my experience with this disease and uh, I think it helps empower other people who have similar um, limitations to mine yeah and an easy cause then to support. Oh, I mean, then this, she puts a, a great face, a beautiful face to, to <laughs> what, you. what you're doing here as well. Definitely. It, you know, it is a great cause. And, you know, we, we have so many opportunities in this world and it's to help someone that maybe don't have some of the opportunities. Like I've been to the camp a couple times and helped out. And it is really cool to see these kids do things that they normally wouldn't get to do on their normal day-to-day -day basis and just be an average kid with everyone else. But then this money also does go to, like you said, research as mm -hmm. well. Yep. Yep. Um, so uh, I don't know what percentage of it is, but a, a, a percentage goes to research. And over the last five years, they've, the, FD, is it the FDA, I think, has approved numerous medications. And we've actually seen the reverse for some kids who we've had kids who couldn't put their shirt on themselves and they start getting these medications. And all of a sudden they come in one day and their mom's like, how'd you get your shirt on? Wow. And to hear those stories, and there's just numerous stories like that, um, it is really cool to see the developments that are coming around. What kind of feedback do you get from people? Everybody loves to see a firefighter, not at a fire, but like, <laughs> yeah. you know, at the store, you know, when people see you guys and the boots, I mean, you can actually put the money in the boot, right? Yes, yep. You, you know, whenever someone sees a firefighter, they're always just super friendly, and sometimes they don't even ask what the cause is for. But, you know, whenever you hear see a firefighter and then you also hear a cause for children, it's, it's hard not to put a little bit of money in. So you, you get a great, great support from the community. So one more time, where is Phil the Boot taking place um, and for how long? So it's, I know for Fargo it's going to be in all five Hornbacher's locations. Okay. Um, I believe Moorhead's doing it the next three days as well. And for Fargo, we're going to be there from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Monday through Wednesday. Wow. I so many it. opportunities to go yeah. and fill the boot. Do you know if there are any ways, if people aren't going to go to the grocery store today, that they can donate online or support the cause? You know, we don't have a donation online this year. Okay. Um, but if you want to stop by any fire station, I'm sure they'll oh, be yes. happy to get you know, drop off some money, they'll, they'll get it to the right people. And you can always make checks out to the um, Fargo Firefighters Local 642 charity, and then that money will go right to the MDA. And we'll so, let Addie uh, talk one more time, too. What would you like to tell people? I mean, just head over to the grocery store, right? Today yeah, even if you day. don't, it can't afford to donate, just being there and meeting the firefighters and talking about how they have impacted other people's lives, it's, it's inspiring, yes. 
you, wow. you know, just raising awareness and getting yeah. the conversation mm -hmm. started is uh, yeah. huge as well. So help fill the boot. It's happening today. <laughs> Say hi to those firefighters. Always a treat when we see you guys. <laughs> Stay with us. Coming up next, uh, Fargo Fitness Center is teaming up to raise supplies for underprivileged students. That's coming up next on North Dakota Today.